Jack from ZHX Minecraft is here with a uh, new addition to what I will be doing and it's going to be redstone tutorials. Let me just close off Firefox because it's making me lag. Okay, so uh, yeah, like I said, this is going to be a redstone tutorial series and um, the first one is an automatic fireplace. And now you may be thinking, what, what is this automatic fireplace? Well, I'll tell you. Um, as you can see, hit button. Fire charges the dispense from the dispenser. It bounces back off if we just look from above. See? And uh, obviously it goes into a never rack and sets fire to that. Um, this is way more compact than my old version. My old version, the redstone stretched on for quite long I mean it involves all this space here as well but um, let's get started with the basics of this what you're going to need is some leather rack you are going to need a material to build with I'm going to use a smooth stone you are going to need sticky pistons you are going to need a button you are going to also need redstone that is an essential repeaters couple of stacks of fire charges just for the end and I think that's it so what you're gonna do is oh and obviously guys your dispenser so what you want to do is you want to place your two dispensers like so and in front of them put two pieces of never rack like that and then next to there you just want to put two blocks so it's like that then on that block you want to put a button now, here's where I used to go wrong, yeah? I used to bring it all the way back and round and feed them in separately. But, if you put a block here, and then just jump in front, and then put a block there, delete that block, and do that, that can now um, receive signal. So what you want to do, just dig a um, hole underneath there, put some redstone, like that. Now, you'll be able to hear, it clicks. So that's the uh, dispenser part done. That is the easiest part of the whole tutorial. Now, in front of here, you want to dig about three blocks back. And you want to dig a little bit down the side as well. Now, it needs to be two blocks deep. And what you're going to have here is just in front of these two never rack blocks, you're going to put your sticky pistons and a block on top of it so as you can see I've got my sticky pistons and my stone and by the way you might want to dig a little rim around the edge of it it just keeps it neat okay now uh, from this redstone there's two things you can do you can go like that because obviously if you press it, it still goes off and that's what we're going to do for the purpose of this video now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna bring it round like that so it goes into there then if I were you I just put a uh, repeater just there so it can reach that a little bit further then we're just going to put it inside the little rim like that and that's as far as we need to go for redstone at all um, what you can do pro tip um, is go like that so uh, it means you can actually um, be more versatile with it, you know, just put a second block next to it, then just floor it all off, like that, because uh, flooring it off just makes it look neater to the eye, like that. This is just ways of uh, putting it away as well, guys. Um, I suggest you usually use two blocks next to it because two blocks I personally think looks better and for the back this is the easy part to cover up all you got to do is bring it round in a square um, then from here go like that so then obviously you've got your two blocks there now this is how I like to design it then you could do this that I accidentally hit the dispenser there. And then obviously you do the same thing 
is what I just did there. But uh, as you can see, there is a redstone connection there. So we need to make it even by doing that. As you can see, that looks pretty neat. There is no redstone showing. I mean, this is going to be in your wall, so that's not exactly anything to be worried about. Now you can just put a fire charge in there. Fire charge set in there. Push the button. And it hasn't set the uh, thingies off because I've blocked a connection on it. So, um... Yeah, pro tip, don't block connections. But, um, yes. If I were you, I would actually have it so it's one block further on each side so it fills up the whole square and does its thing. This is kind of just for aesthetics as well. And, uh, it shall now work. As you can see, sets the uh, never rack on fire. Pistons pop up. And I mean, you can do what I've done, you, you know, uh, you can build a chimney around it, just like this. I mean, there's millions of things you can do with this. I prefer to do this because obviously the smoke from the fire, you don't want it too high. Oh, otherwise it doesn't turn its, um, otherwise it doesn't look like a chimney. But if you do, as you can see, smoke just kind of billows out of the chimney. But yeah, um... I mean, that's as simple as it gets, guys. You know, you could add other things like piston systems underneath the never rack. I had one where I had something like that, and then a piston pushed it up and put it out. Um, that's it for my redstone tutorial. Um, thank you very much for watching, guys. More will be happening on this test world because of uh, more redstone stuff and SDKs, not SDKs, flags, modern weapons mod. Um, just stuff like that um, if you want a certain redstone thing done I can't do stuff like calculators and TVs and computers but I can do uh, things like automatic weapons you know like arrow weapons if you don't want to install mods blah 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 but yeah just leave a suggestion in the comment section and thank you very much for watching